and this is the pancreatic physiology uh, the pancreas has got a head a body and a tail the tail part has the uh, endocrine part while the exocrine part is predominantly the body and the head um, the there are two parts of the pancreatic duct the one one is a major main duct and there is an accessory duct the accessory duct opens uh, proximal to the main duct um, the common bile duct as well as the um, pancreatic uh, main duct opens into the ampullae batter into the second part of the duodenum. this area. This is a common area where the gallstone or the pancreatic stone get obstructed and you develop pancreatitis or jaundice. So this this area you have to be very careful with ampullae batter. And this is a typical pancreatic SNS. This is a typical pancreatic SNS or the glandular part. Uh, these are the uh, cells that form the SNS. Uh, the cells are controlled by various hormones like cholecytokinin, secretin, BIP, estalcholine, bombesin, and substance P, which causes it to release proenzymes like trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen. And secretin is a particular hormone that causes the release of bicarbonate and water. So while cholecytokinin, BIP, estalcholine, etc., causes the proenzymes to be released, secretin causes bicarbonate and water to be released. So that difference you have to know. And these are the various pancreatic enzymes, the amylase. Uh, which is involved in starch and glycogen synthesis, the lipase and co-lipase, which is involved uh, in the digestion of triglyceride to monoglycerides and fatty acids. And there is a proteolytic enzymes like trypsinogen, chymotrypsin, proelastase, carbapexidase, uh, and all those things happen. And uh, these are the major uh, intestinal uh, enzymes and hormones. The salivary gland produces a salivary amylase. The stomach, as we have mentioned, produces the pepsin and gastric lipase. The exocrine pancreas is produced trypsin, chymotrypsin, elastase, carboxypeptidase A, carboxypeptidase B, the pancreatic lipase, and the intestinal mucosa produce endropeptidase, aminopeptidase, carbopeptidase, endopeptidase, maltase, lactase, sucrase, all those things. So many enzymes are produced by the intestinal tract. And uh, the, the table has all the substrate and the final product and their mechanism of action is there. Since the time is very limited, I'm just skimming through. You be familiar with these enzymes uh, and you can go through the table. You can have all the information. You have to be very thorough with this data because again, these things are very commonly asked in your MRCP part one exam. Again, gut hormones. This is also a very important part of uh, your MRCP exam. You have to know the major gut hormones like gastrin. Uh, it is produced by stomach, by the G cells, and it is involved in protein digestion and it suppresses the acid, acid secretion and stomatocytin. Again, the somatostatin is produced by gastrointestinal tract by the D cells. It is involved in fat digestion. The cholecytokinin, as the name mentioned, is involved in uh, stimulating the gallbladder contraction. It is produced from duodenum and jejunum by the I cells. Secretin, as I mentioned, is primarily produced by the duodenum and jejunum by S cells. And it is stimulates the pancreatic fluid and bicarbonate secretion. Then motilin, uh, which is produced by duodenum, small intestine and colon. The gastric inhibitory polypeptide and glucagon like polypeptide, otherwise known as incretins, these are also very important. These are produced by the duodenal K cells and the ileal L cells. And these are primarily involved in glucose and fat and carbohydrate metabolism. Uh, even modulators of these drugs are used in the management of diabetes, so you have to know about these things. Then there is something known as the uh, vasointestinal, uh, uh, vasoactive intestinal polypeptide. Uh, which are produced by nerve fibers. Their exact substrate is not known, but they produce vasodilatory action, relax smooth muscles, and stimulate water and lactulose secretion. And tumors that produce VIFMOS are known to cause uh, diarrhea. And there is something known as ghrelin, which is produced by stomach, which is primarily produced by fasting, and it stimulates appetite. And there is something known as peptide YY, which is produced by ileum and colon, which is again produced by feeding and modulates satiety. So, uh, the, these things, uh, the, the table has all the data, go through this data, you have to be thorough with uh, where it is produced, where it tags, what is its function and all, because these are all asked in your MRCP part 20.